back of this I've literally it's probably took me half an hour stamping my way through it you can see a little bit of a path I've worn there but first thing I'll try and do is um stamp myself a bit out because at the minute I've got a little tiny hole where I've just enough to spin around in but as you can see everything is wet through it's soaked so as soon as you move anything you just get like half a bucket of water over here but uh yeah all right let's clear out a bit of a spot to start with right, here's your first bottle and believe it or not it's exactly the same stuff as you get on the other tip HP sauce, can't believe it. But, uh, right, there's your first bottle anyway. I say I'm just getting into fresh now. You can see it here, I'm getting nice bits and bobs. There's some car sale lot. So oh, let's pull this one out. Right, that one is broken. And that would have been a plain one anyway. Right, let's pull this out. This looks interesting. That would have been just a big old stone jar. But um yeah, it's damn hot, so I don't know how long I'm going to stick this out today because it's really, really muggy. But, um, yeah, that's it for now, anyway. Right, I'm getting going a little bit now. It's um, it's a slow pace because I'm I'm wet through, but I'm not drying, if you know what I mean. It's just so muggy. But um, a few bits, Bob's going there. Starting to get beers, which is um, a nice change. But the most important thing I've... Um, want to see is I've just chucked something out over there uh, you can't even see it god I've got steam coming off me but uh let's go and have a look see it yet oh you beauty that is a nice poison already these ones with this writing on are very very nice Wow, stunning bottle. That's one of the nicest poisons I've dug in a long time. Fantastic. Mega, mega poison. Oh, I've got sweat dripping off me. Um, yeah, that is a damn nice bottle long neck too beautiful right that was worth it coming down here already I can see all these brambles and nettles like I say the other tip I don't get things like this or beers it's like I say it's a bit of a I think it's an army barracks tip and so you tend to get lots of coffee bottles and lots of sauce bottles and lots of just cooking bits and bobs like I say you very rarely get any cods or beers or poisons or anything like that but yeah what a start come on I just had this um, it's only a marmalade jar but um, I've never seen one like this before it's like half and half only half the amount of um, lines in it but then smooth along the top but uh, nothing on it whatsoever, but I've never seen one like that before. Oh, and the other thing is it's starting to drizzle a little bit now, which is an absolute godsend for me. Because even though I've got my um, fishing bottle and everything, I ain't going to use it because it's just too hot. I want that rain to come me down a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's, that's quite an unusual pot that one is. Big old roll lip jar. Um, yeah, just join it. I'm getting mixed up. Oh, it's nice. These are. Is it or what? Oh no, it's not. I don't think it is actually. I think that's got one with a line up the neck. Yeah, it has. It looked like it was um, from that bit there. It looked like it was an applied lip one. But uh, yeah, big old jar anyway. So you go see it. I think it's going to be a plain one, but um, we'll see. Yeah, just a big plain. I think they're like a cod liver oil, these things. This looks promising. Picard. 
Mansfield. I like to see that hole. Right, we have a beer. <laughs> you get fed up of seeing these. Nice trademark and everything, but they're very, very common around this area. Lovely colour, them. It's a beer, it's the first beer I've dug in a while. Right, I've got a beer there, or cods or something like that, but I'm more interested in that right there. Wow, that's a monster. Come on, it's huge. Massive poison. I don't know what size that one is. You can see that in my hand. That's a big old poison. Yeah, I'm liking this tip. It seems to be all right with these things anyway. Beautiful. Look at this. It's absolutely rammed down here. It's not very deep. It's only a shallow tip, this. It's literally about four foot, five foot deep. But oh, I've got something that I can't budge. Ornaments. Oh, What's that one? Well, that's nice. All right, hang on a minute. Oh, it's got a chip. That's a pity. It's got a chip out the lip there, can you see it? But that is, um, use, um, Tidy Betty. Proper shame now, that would have been a nice bottle. You see it there. Uh, got a chip out it. But, um, yeah, I think I've got, um, that looks like a broken hot water bottle down there. I think it's broken anyway. Oh, I can't budge it. In fact, it is broken. I can see it there. But I think I got the other after that. But, uh, yeah, right. May cut all this lot out here and carry on because this little patch down here is all right. Uh, there's that broken um, hot water bottle. Would have been a nice one too. But here's the other after it. Right. It's a pity because it's broken on that side too. And... I wouldn't be able to sell this on a shop, it'd probably cost about a hundred pounds post. But uh, yeah, even if it's complete, I wouldn't be able to sell that. Too damn heavy. But uh, yeah, shame anyway. But, well, how thick that is. I don't know I could turn it into a bed, bed house actually. Or well, one of them anyway. I don't know, actually it might be a little project for me and my boy. Might make it into a little bird house. So, um, yeah, broken at water bottle anyway. This is nice. Um, Vino's lightning cough. Oh. <laughs> Never mind, it's got a crack in it. You can see it right there. Yeah, that would have been a nice one too because it's got a slight amber colour to it too. But if it's no good, it's cracked. Oh well. Right, that's me done on here. Um, I've run out of water. It's damn hot. I'm going to eat and alive by the flies. And the problem is, it's only... It's only about two foot, three foot of the deepest. It's um, really, really shallow. And the problem is, just to get, I don't know, ten feet that way, it's probably going to take me half an hour trampling through all the brambles and that. So, um, this is one to come back to in the winter. Like I say, it's not very deep, so it's going to be quite easy to dig out. But at the minute, like I say, I've got absolute jungle around me. So, um, yeah. One to come back to in the winter, this one. Definitely. And I just realised, actually, how filthy I am. And I've got to get caught yet. So, um, yeah. I mean, I ain't complaining. I've had some nice bits out here. A couple of nice poisons. But, oh, 
Oh, he flies, flies about to me. But uh, yeah, time to pack up today and try again on another day. <sighs> Bit horse fly then. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you what I've got anyway. But yeah, definitely one to come back to. Right, what's coming home? Um, it's a bit sad really, a lot of this stuff is chipped and cracked because it's so shallow a lot of it has been crushed it's like that jar's got a crack in it that one's just plain like I say the the tidy betty bottle which is a lovely bottle but again oops, it's got a chunk out of the lip it has so that's no good bits of tiles and things they'll be all be coming home because you like that sort of stuff but it's like this you see lovely sheared neck here but again I don't know if you can see there. It's got a big chunk at it again. And this is all because of how shallow the tip is. But um, nothing nothing that special really. But for a test dig, I ain't done bad at all. Plenty of bits of pot and stuff from the shop. You know what I mean? Some nice bits. That's quite nice. You didn't see that come out because I thought I recorded it and I, I wasn't. It's, um, yeah, that's nice. Um, little Manson's um, extract, which is a nice one, which I don't usually see that on the bottom, made in England. And it's got a bit of a ice blue tinge to that as. So that'll be coming home. I say these bits of pots, that will be staying here in case anybody else ever wants it. Now, I know you lot will probably be saying, oh, it needs to come out of this, but there's loads of these. You get these all the time. And, um, yeah, these stay in here. It's got a couple of scrapes in it anyway and that, so I'll leave that for somebody else to find. Uh, the little marmalade jar with the weird ridges on it. In fact, I've just noticed even that's got a chips at it. Look, plain little item. Um, <laughs> Carlton's HP sauce, which I seem to find everywhere, a Smithington and Co. And um, obviously the star bottles are these two, but they do look a little bit sick. They do a little bit of iridescence on them. Well, I know more once I've cleaned them up, but two quite large poisons, especially that one. That one's a real nice one. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you on a cleaning video anyway.